I don't remember. I didn't like the original Scooby-Doo. I'm not gonna lie. I don't really have much of a dog in this race. I didn't really like the original Scooby-Doo. BDM loud. I thought the original Scooby-Doo... ...was really fucking annoying. Like, once I learned that it's never gonna be something actually paranormal... ...and it's always just like... ...it's the same formula over and over and over. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. And by the time all, like, the remakes and stuff started coming out... I think there was one remake when I was a kid. And it was, it was a bit better, but... Still didn't really, still didn't really bother. Super Rocker, thank you, BBB, is it okay? Oh, it's okay that you don't have much of a dog in this because neither does the Velma show, that is true! I don't have a dog in this race, or a dog in this fight, but neither does Velma. Because despite being a Scooby-Doo... Adaptation, there is no Scooby-Doo. Which begs the question, why did you adapt Scooby-Doo? It just, it just seems a little bit weird to me. It's, I feel like everybody has already pointed this out. Everybody's been pointing this out. But what made you feel compelled to do a remake? Or an adaptation, not a remake, but an adaptation of a show about teenagers solving mysteries with their dog. And you take out the fucking dog. Man, Scooby-Doo... And or, man, Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo is by far the worst show in the Scooby-Doo franchise. Velma, 2023. <laughs>
And I, I, I think it is like spite. I think it is these people hate that other people like things that they don't like. And they, they make a conscious effort to try and either sabotage it while earning brownie points amongst their peers. Or they try and they're genuinely trying to make it better, but they're so fucking delusional that their perception of better is just their very specific personal taste. That is genuinely how I feel. Next time they confront the voters, uh, answer this. They make a script but decide it won't sell, so they hijack an already famous established IP to guarantee at least some returns. That also makes sense. <laughs> that would also explain some of the vitriol, right? That would also explain, like, why, um... So I'm sure, like, Mindy Cowling, right? She probably wanted to write something about her OCs. I'm gonna go out on a limb, and I'm gonna say that Mindy Cowling is a big fan of Steven Universe, and she probably wanted to do something very similar. And HBO Max was like, uh... Steven Universe is already a thing. And we don't know if your property is gonna sell well. So how about you adapt your characters using the Scooby-Doo IP? Because we're due for a new iteration. I, th I, th I do think that makes sense. And that's probably why she's like... Writing a bunch of uh, angry, passive-aggressive shit into the show. Because she didn't actually want to write this show. I, th I think that makes sense. I think that's a simple explanation. In this animated series, Velma isn't just a spunky, sarcastic teen who wants to fight the patriarchy and solve myths. Streets. She's also kind of a jerk. Wait, you're inside my house! Not only is she political, but she's also unlikable! Who, who do you guys think this is? This has got to be like a, 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 an adaptation of another character, right? But I have no idea who this would be. That's Scooby! No, it's not! Scrappy! Is that Scrappy? Oh my god. <laughs> Shut up, chat. Anyways. This is from Max G. They should do a bit on Velma, where she gets progressively more pregnant as the season goes on. Then in the finale, she gives birth, and it's Scooby-Doo! When all the characters look shocked, and it says... To be continued, and there are no more episodes ever, and it's never explained. That's a, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. They should... They should do that. <laughs> <laughs> they should do that. That's brilliant. This show does not deserve a 10, but I'm only doing the comp- I'm only doing it to compensate for the overheating. That's not how fucking reviews work, you stupid son of a bitch. I knew this was gonna be the reason that they rated a 10. I knew it was gonna be some stupid motherfucker. That thinks they have more power than they actually do. You fucking narcissist.